you know, this is kind of like a touchy subject. I was just relaxing. I was like watching some videos on that whole E. Jean Carroll situation. And, you know, she came out and she's like, this is the best day of my life. And I'm just trying to like understand what that means exactly. Okay. So I just want to first, first and foremost, say that any woman who is a victim of rape, okay, my heart goes out to them. My prayers go, go out. It's a very serious, very, very horrific situation, okay? So I just I don't want to come across like I'm some kind of a, you know, uncaring person. But the thing is, in her particular case, this happened, what was it, like 30 years ago? And what exactly was the end goal here? Like, was her end goal just to get money? Because it was a civil case. It was not a criminal case. And she says the best day of her life. I think she also has a book. So, I I mean, again, I'm not trying to sound like an uncaring person, but kind of sounds like she was happy she got money. To me. All right? Because Donald Trump is not facing criminal charges. Um, there was no apology. There was no admitting to guilt on his part. You know, so... I mean, you know, I don't know. Just seemed like she was happy she got money to me. That, that's all I'm going to say. Now, as far as the Democrats, they have just such utter, utter hatred for Donald Trump. And I can, I can relate in a way. Look, I'm small time. You know, I'm just a, I'm just a guy from Brooklyn. I live in Jersey now. I grew up in, in Brooklyn, though, but... I have my little, uh, whatever you want to say, five-minute fame, you know, on YouTube where I've reached, I have like over 7.2 million views and, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's I'm not, I'm not, you know, listen, Donald Trump's the most famous man in the world. <laughs> you know what I mean? He is the 45th president of the United States. But I, as this very small YouTuber, deal with a lot of haters. And a lot of times they just want to hate on you. They don't care, even if you're doing good, even if you're doing good things and you're helping people, they still want to hate on you. And I, I, see, I see that same trend, but on a much, much higher level with the Democrats, with Trump. They just hate this guy with such a passion. They're hitting him with everything. They're indicting him on this. And, and I, yeah, I, I have to say, Democrats, even in terms of, this is just my, my opinion, but in terms of everything that happened to him, in terms of legalities, seem to be, concentrated from Democrats. I mean, you look at the guys, two impeachments, you look at the Mueller case, you look at everything that's happening with the District of 30 in New York. I don't know, it just seems to be democratically, you know, they're pushing everything in terms of, you know, they want to see him go down. And the thing is, he's a fighter. And it drives them crazy that he doesn't stop fighting. The guy goes down, comes right back up. You can't, you can't knock him out. He's he's uh, like a Rocky Balboa, Donald uh, J. Trump. Now, the thing is, his base and his followers, this is what the Democrats don't understand. They support him because he's the messenger. He's he's the person that's pushing their agenda. And, and, and you know, I was watching that more on Dave Pacman. The freaking guy looks like a pencil neck to me. You know, he's like talking about the, the former vice president, Mike Pence, who made a comment like, look, when I was around the president, Donald, Donald J. Trump, during his term, I never saw him do anything that would be considered, you know, whatever you want to call it, you know, <laughs> you know, sexually harassing someone or assaulting someone. So, so Dave Papier made a big joke about it. Like, he's like, yeah, I, well, I also did a witness Charlie Manson tell those girls to go kill anybody. So I guess he didn't do it. What Dave Pacman doesn't understand, because his IQ is in the single digits, is it's called character. Okay, you could tell someone's character, yes, by spending a number of years with that person. Okay, you could just tell a person's character. Look, everybody has skeletons in the closet. Okay, and everybody has a past, including Dave Pacman, probably. Who knows? And I'm not saying, I'll say it's alleged, but who knows what that guy did in his life? Who knows what anyone did? Everyone has a past. But the thing is, Yes, I think that if you spend enough time with someone, like a number of years, a person's personality doesn't change. I remember this old Italian guy from Brooklyn, Tony, came to me when I was younger. 
And he says, hey, Rich, I see you see that beautiful girl over there. She, you know, Minky Pep, she got some freaking body on. This was before I was married, you know. I'm like, yeah, Tony, right? What a piece of freaking, you know what? And he goes, well, you remember something. Looks change. I never forget, I never forget these words. Looks change. Personality never changes. He goes, 20, 30 years, she's going to lose her looks, that girl. But her personality, you got bish. Personality is going to stay the same. So my, my point is that people don't really change that much. You can't really change. If a person is, you know, like that whole thing with that Access Hollywood thing, I think it was completely blown out of proportion. I think what Donald J. Trump was saying was that when you're famous, you understand, you're a rock star. Come on. All these rock stars, we saw all of them. Come on now. I think Gene Simmons had uh, sex with more women than either he's equal to Will Chamberlain, something like 10,000 women. You know, I mean, it was it was, it was was willing. I'm not saying he's a rapist. Gene Simmons, it was consensual between him and, and all these women. But that's just the, the life of a rock star. You know, like women want to do what they got to do. You know, they call them groupies, whatever you want to say. But I think that's where he was going with that comment. I don't think he was saying that he wanted to sexually assault women. He was just trying to say because he was who he is, women are attracted to him. He's a billionaire. He's a star. That's all he was saying. And once again, they took that out of context. And then this led to this whole E. Jean Carroll thing. And there's a, there's a lot of other women too who are making these accusations about, about Donald Trump. It's not just her. There's a lot more. And I honestly don't know how she won this case. If you want to know the truth, I really don't get it. I don't understand it. It happened like, what was over 30 years ago? The only thing really evidence she produced was a picture. It didn't even look like, like if you look at the picture, it was her husband, her and Donald Trump and Donald Trump was talking to them. And they were all smiling. It, like in the, it didn't seem like it seemed like they were very happy to be in the presence of Donald uh, J. Trump. They had big Kool Aid smiles. A husband and he, uh, Gene Carroll, like, and it didn't even look like Donald Trump knew he was taking a picture because you saw the back of his head. So what does that mean? Because you produce a picture that, that Donald Trump is talking to you at a party. How many times have I spoke to someone at a party? How many times have you spoke to someone at a party? Doesn't necessarily mean that you know them, right? But anyway, look. A jury of his peers found him guilty. He has to pay $5 million, case closed. You know, that's it. But, you know, now the Democrats feel, oh, that's their ticket to success. No, it's not. Meaning that the, 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 the biggest thing the Democrats want is Donald Trump to not be the next president of the United States, right? But I got news for you. Unless he goes to jail, <laughs> I got to tell you, I, I think he's going to be the next president. Because that's how strong support that he has. That's how strong his, his base don't care what he does. It's crazy. They don't care because they look at him as the messenger for all the things that are important to them. You know, a great economy. Inflation is completely out of control. You know, the country is shot. I mean, everything that happened, I mean, we, we, we could talk about so many things. I mean, just the way, you know, the enemy took all of this billions and billions of state-of-the-art you know, military equipment, just the way our current president is is questioned in a very, very serious manner if he is fit to be president based on his cognitive abilities that he really, I mean, understand, okay, oh, he's been tested by this, tested. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. The guy stumbles his words. The guy seems very confused, shaking ha hands with invisible men, getting lost trying to get back to the White House. There just seems to be indefinitely a problem there, but whatever. It is what it is. I'll make you be the judge of that. I'll make medical... Prof I'm not a medical professional, so I'm not going to go there. But I'm just trying to say, when you hear Donald J. Trump speak, he's powerful. He's confident. He's intelligent. And just in my opinion, I don't see that without current president. I And I... I don't think we're doing well in the country right now. I think there's a lot of major problems, which I didn't see under Donald J. Trump. You know, the economy was doing great. Unemployment was at its lowest levels. There wasn't all this crazy stuff going on with inflation. There wasn't all these, you know, things going on. So you could say what you want, but he was a good president. Now, maybe Democrats don't like him personally. 
whatever. People don't like me personally, so I can relate. But what you can't take away is the good job that he did. And, you know, you notice how the Democrats never talk about the job Joe Biden's doing because, in my opinion, he's not doing a good job. <laughs> so why they never talk about it. That's why they focus all of their energy and all of their attention on Donald J. Trump. But I just want to leave you off with this, all the Democrats who are watching this video, including Mr. Pencil Neck himself, Dave Pacman. If Donald Trump does not go to jail, you're looking at your next president. That's my prediction of the United States of America. So... You can make video after video after video how much you hate him. You can call him all these things rapist. I'll say it's alleged because, you know, I really, to me, there wasn't enough evidence, even though he does have to pay a $5 million fine. You can say whatever you want to say about him. But you know what? His base is strong. People love him. And I actually think his base is growing because they see this hit job how everyone keeps going after him. But people love fighters, just like they love Rocky Balboa. When someone gets knocked down and they keep getting up, that's a person who wants to win. And the Democrats are facing someone who doesn't stay down. He keeps getting up. He keeps fighting. So this video was not in any way, shape, or form political advice. It's not financial advice. It is entertainment purposes only, and everything I said is based on my opinion.